What's poppin' up, boys and game girls? It's your boy Lego Man 328 back for another legit tutorial video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a transparent video using FFmpeg. I'm using Premiere Let's 15 to make my base video, but you can use any editing software that allows multiple video layers. After making our base video, we'll move over to the command prompt and replace the background with transparency. Anyway, if you haven't already, install FFmpeg. There will be a video in the description on how to install it. Next up, open your editing software and make a new project. I've already done this, so the next step we're going to do is make a new shape layer, or you can also import an image with a solid background, solid color. So I'm going to make the shape a solid green, and now the background color depends on whatever your object that you are animating is. So if your object has a lot of green in it, you're going to want to avoid chroma key green. You're going to want to use a, another color such as chroma key blue. Both of those codes are on the screen now. Originally I was making a singer transition for live streaming with OBS, but for this tutorial I'll just be making uh, this GIF here move across the screen. So I'm going to expand the uh, background layer right there. So there is the GIF. And now I'm going to be animating my GIF. So frame animation boys Let's move that over there move that over here right there doesn't matter right there okay and then now we can come back down here and there's our animation right there okay there we go all right now we're going to export it I'm going to be exporting as 1080p 60 FPS video we're going to export it to our desktop and as the file name input. Of course, this is going to be a MP4. Saving it to our desktop. Okay, now we're on my desktop here. Here is the input file that we had just exported. And now it is time to open the command prompt. If you follow the installation video I was talking about earlier, then you're going to want to use this command here on the screen. Here's a quick explanation on what this command does. Alright guys, I'm actually going to record this part of the video now after about a little over a month. <laughs> so this part of the command basically tells the command prompt to use the application FFmpeg. You can see here, this is our input. This is going to be your video that you want to uh, replace the green or whatever blank color with transparency. And you may also see you see how this I, this indicates an input. Well, you see here, this is also has an input. So we have two inputs, and we're going to be making an output. Well, this here is an alpha channel, and this here is our input video. And the best way to see this is, you know how editing softwares have different layers? Well, FFmpeg is kind of similar to that. So on top, we're going to have our input video, and on the bottom, we're going to have our alpha channel. Now the alpha channel can be just thought of a square with no color in it, just an outline, right? Straight transparency. And our input video, of course, is the video. Well, if we come down here, where it says chroma key, this little spot here, this is where it's going to cut out the green or whatever chroma key color you want to cut out and replace with transparency. So this is where you can change the similarity. This is like how similar you want the chroma key to be to this color here. So let's say we have chroma key green here, right? So it's going to find any color that is similar to the degree of 0.455. So basically it's going to take any green that's in our input video and just cut it out. So now we have an input video without any green pixels or whatever hexadecimal color you put here and to the certain similarity. And then here is our output. This is our output here. So we have our input video over our alpha channel. Now the alpha channel is just to replace all the empty green pixels that you have now. So basically right now we're going to take our input video over our alpha and this is going to be exported as an MOV. This is our output and we all know that MOVs can store transparency. That's basically it. I'll go through it one more. So we have our input video. Our input video is above our alpha channel which is right here. Don't forget to, of course, in this part of the command, put in your computer or your account username for your computer. But anyway, 
it's going to take the input video, put it over the alpha, alpha channel, remove the green from the input video, and then export it together as an MOV, which will store the transparency of the alpha channel that is replacing the green pixels. All right, back to you, Pass Lego Man. Thanks, Pass Lego Man. Uh, so I have my certain command typed in here. I have it copied. This is just for me because I have my system folders arranged differently, probably for most of you guys. Right here we can see here's the input of the file here. It's going from D drive to the desktop, which that is where the file is, and we're and it's looking for input.mp4, which is the file right here. And right here is where you put your output file, whatever you want to call the output that comes out of this. So we are going to push enter. It is going to look for the file and start converting it. It is now generating the file, removing the background of the solid chroma key green that it was looking for, and it is now replacing it with transparency. Okay, now that it is on a new command line, the video exporting has is now done. Now um, I'm going to import this file back into Premiere just so I can show you guys that it is actually transparent. So bam, import it back in. There we go, you can see that it is black screen there in the background. But if I take the GIF that we used before and put it behind it, you can see that it is in fact transparent. And if I do this here, you can see this layer appearing and reappearing behind it and that means that the video is in fact transparent I can actually do this here if I move it you can see that it is transparent over this object and I can still unhide it and hide it here so there you go guys that is how you make a transparent video using ffmpeg if you like this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these i previously did another tutorial on how to do an 80s aesthetic effect in premiere elements 15 if you'd like to check out that video you can see it right over here anyway guys thanks for checking out my tutorial see you guys in the next one